Many people prefer going to one place to get everything on their shopping list, right? We even prefer one search engine for all our information needs. Google. But ask yourself, what might you be missing? Enter MCC's answer to this question, Discovery Search. Discovery Search meets your needs to search in one place while providing higher quality information that often cannot be found using Google. This system provided by the MCC Library searches most of our databases in the online catalog at one time. For a list of the databases that are not available, click on See Additional Databases if needed on the library homepage. The source types that you can discover in Discovery Search include books, ebooks, magazines, journals, news and newspapers, primary source documents, reports, some news in audio or video format, and conference proceedings. Using an example search on the topic of emotional intelligence, I will demonstrate a broad and then a more specific search in our Discovery Search system. At the library homepage, type the search terms into the main search box. I am entering emotional intelligence. I put the phrase in quotation marks so that the search system will look for this as a phrase. You don't have to put single words in quotation marks. If you want to put in a more complex search, it is best to join phrases in single words with AND. For example, emotional intelligence and employees. After you hit search, you may see a login screen if you are accessing Discovery Search from off campus, but when you are on campus, you will go straight into the database. If you need to log in, you will use your student login that you use for Blackboard and email. I am first demonstrating this broad search so you can see all that is able to be found in the many searchable databases available in Discovery Search. At the results screen for this search, we first see a research starter. This may or may not appear in all of your searches, depending on the amount of detail you enter in your search. Research starters are good for background information and overviews of topics to enable you to learn more or to develop your topic. Research starter comes from high-quality encyclopedias. However, these and other general encyclopedias should not be cited in a college-level research paper unless permitted by your instructor. Now I want to show you the other types of sources that are possible. I'm clicking on Source Types, and there we see the types of sources and how many of each kind appeared in this broad search on emotional intelligence. There are academic journals, magazines, trade publications, which are magazines related to certain industries, book or product reviews, news and newspapers, books, government business or education reports, ebooks, also included in electronic resources, primary source documents, usually speeches, and some audio or video news content. Now let me show you how to access the full text of these various resources in three different ways. Some material may be a hard copy book or journal located in the library. In those cases, you will be shown the call number for the location of the book on the shelf or information about the periodical holdings and current issues, bound periodicals, or our microfiche. Some ebooks and articles will link out to another database from the MCC library, such as ScienceDirect, eBrary, Gale or ProQuest Newsstand. PDF or HTML articles and books mean that the full text of the article is available directly in the search system and you won't have to link out to another site to access the full text.
Now let me refine my search, in other words, to make the search more specific. I am interested in finding out the importance and description of emotional intelligence in the workplace or for recent college graduates entering the workforce. First, on the left margin of the screen, I am going to set the limit of the articles by choosing only those published in the last 10 years. Next, I will click on Subjects in order to find out the subject terms the database might use to describe the articles in my search results. This will help me find a subtopic that relates to my research interest or better words and phrases to communicate my research topic. I see personnel management, work environment, job performance, and job satisfaction. So I will select those four and then click update. This action reduced the number of articles to newer and more relevant articles and books. The next step is to look at the articles and decide which ones will be useful. To make that determination, click on the article title and view the detailed record. In your own searches, you will use this detailed record to help you evaluate the relevance of the article. Pay attention to the abstract and the subject terms. And then you can open the article full text to look further. This article is found within Discovery Search. If you see articles with a link labeled Full Text Finder or View This Record or Full Text, then you have, will be directed to a separate window for another database we have access to. Another method for making a more specific search is to add your own search terms to the top search boxes. So instead of using personnel management, work environment, job performance, or job satisfaction, I will remove those limits and I will add job skills to the second text box enclosing that phrase within quotation marks. And then click search to update. Or I could use the phrase college graduates or employability. The more academic your search words, the more likely you will get scholarly journals. But if you use more common and everyday language, you will be more likely to retrieve magazines and news. I'm clicking on the article title of the first result. This article is in a magazine. And the abstract tells me that I will not only get a definition of emotional intelligence, but also how it re relates to the workplace. To view the full text of this kind of article, click on HTML full text or PDF full text if available. The second article and its full text are available outside of Discovery Search. To access that, click on the full text link from Eric in the record. Other methods to target or limit your search is to choose specific source types that you want to retrieve articles from. You can choose scholarly journals, news, magazines, books, and all the others that were mentioned earlier. I'm choosing magazines and trade publications. You can also choose from a list of periodical titles by clicking on publication in the left margin. And then click on magazine, journal, newspaper titles that are of interest to you.
As you search, you can save your articles to a folder and then use that folder to read through the article records again and make your final choices for your source list. Click on the folder icon next to the article titles. Or from the detailed record, choose Add to Folder. Then you can use this temporary folder that will hold your articles for the time you stay in the database, but it will empty if you exit the database. To retain a folder for longer, you can create a My EBSCOhost account and keep the folder for as long as you need it. The My EBSCOhost account will save search histories as well. If you don't want to use a folder, you can just save, print, or email articles as you find them. On the right margin of the screen on the article record page, you will have available the print, email, or save options. From here, you can print or save both the article records and the HTML format articles. And for all article types, you can email the record and the full text. However, if you plan to print or save an e PDF format article, you must first open the PDF full text link, view the article, and then use the toolbar that appears within the article window. Here's print and then download. For ebooks and articles where you linked out to another database, you can print, email, or save the full text article from that outside source, that outside site. And you will want to retain the article records when you get ready to make your APA or MLA bibliographies. For more specific help on searching for books or ebooks and news or newspapers, we have separate tutorials available on the library website under Library Orientation. Thank you for viewing this tutorial and please let the library know if you have any questions or comments by calling, using our Ask a Librarian service, or by chatting with a librarian during library hours.